Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing another part of the Clara Markova page. We have this um, rather fun looking um, lollipop or um, trying to think of other names. Popsicle? Lolly? No, Popsicle is an ice lolly, isn't it? Not sure. Anyway, I shall be calling it a lollipop. And um, we shall be colouring this. I'm going to start by doing the stick, I think. I'm trying to figure out what colours to use. Um, we don't have very many light browns. We have this sepia, it's quite reddish. So I might do a little bit on that. Let's come in a bit closer. There we go. So I'm going to do the areas I think would be shaded. Now Clara has marked on a few areas too. I'm just going to exaggerate those a little bit. Thinking about how the ribbon might shade the stick. And also I quite like it to look rounded. So I'm putting a bit on the edge. I'm going to bring that in really lightly and gently. From the edge and the top. And then pick my next colour. I hope everyone's well today. Um... I'm, I'm good, so that's good. Um, we're all good. Cinnamon is slightly orangey. I'm just going to use a little bit. Um, I'm sort of um, hoping the hot weather doesn't last too long, though. It makes me feel a bit down and stops me from sleeping as well, which isn't nice. Um, I'm going to use the yellow ochre light now. And probably that'll probably be the last colour I use. Um, yeah, I was talking to my dad about it. He said he didn't understand how I said, you know, it wakes me up in the morning. He said it doesn't wake me up. I'm, well, I do wake up in the morning and I open my eyes, and then when my brain sees it light, it's light before I even look at the clock. My brain's starting to think it's time to get up, so it starts whirring with all the jobs I have to do in the day. And I think it's just a thing about being a mum. <laughs> I'm going to leave the bow until I've done the lolly because I want to um, think about the colour. So what I've decided to do, I see these lollies sometimes and they are green, yellow, red. I'm thinking, are they blue or are they just green, yellow and red? Anyway, we're going to go for green. We're going to start with doing um, the green. I'm going to use my longest green because I can't decide what shade, so I'm just picking the longest one. This is a juniper green. And I'm going to, I want to try and make the lolly look shiny. So I'm going to do quite a hard amount on the edge and less in the middle. And then I'm hoping it will look like it's got a shine. It might also make this bit look a bit more rounded. And I may use their white pen to add some shine as well. So that's my first colour. I just put that in a pile. Now I'm going to go for a red. Um, where's my longest red? It's not a good way to choose, is it really? Um, they're all about the same. I'm going to use the cadmium red. Okay. Now this one, we I'm not worrying. That one was dark around the end as well. Because this one doesn't have a sort of end, it joins. I'm just going to make it darker and fade towards the middle. So I'm just doing less layers towards the centre. There we go. It looks a bit Christmassy. It's not Christmas yet. My brain gets ahead of itself, I think. Um, I'm going to go with a bright yellow. Yeah. Um, maybe this brilliant yellow. We want one where we can hopefully see some difference between light and shade. And with some yellows, that's really tricky. I'm going to have to pile it on a bit. I'm hoping we'll be able to see where I can lay up a bit. even have to leave a bit of white in there to uh, make it look I just put a little bit in the middle yeah 
I think that's good. Should we add blue? Would we? Would it be blue? Oh yes, let's just, let's do it. You're all shouting, no, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> needs my sky blue you can um you can miss this one out and you can go do this one green instead so again i want it darker on those outside edges and then fade in towards the middle i'm half expecting the phone to ring i said that in a video i recorded earlier today and then it didn't but um I often get a call around lunchtime, but I th have a feeling my mum is waiting for a phone call, so she's not going to ring me until she gets that call. I've got no idea when that might be. Okay, our next colour is going back to the green, so it's the juniper green. We're just going to work our way around this. I think it's good fun. Now, if you're ambitious, you could do your bow on the stick in um, these colours. So you could do it in stripes. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to do a different colour. I just I thought, oh, I could do it black. No. Because <laughs> it would be a, it would be different, wouldn't it? But I don't think um, a lollipop would have a black bow on the, on the handle, do you? I don't think so. And what's our next colour? Red. Can we in red? So I don't think... I might do one of these four colours, depending on which one looks least dominant. But if it's the yellow, I probably won't, because I'm a bit scared of yellow. No, it's getting the um, shading with the yellow. It could be a little tricky. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking maybe the red. Like a red bow. We've done a blue bow already on this page so I don't really want to do another one because uh, I've shown you how to do that and uh, we've done a um, peach coloured bow haven't we so we won't do that but I don't think that will work anyway right back to our yellow our brilliant yellow sounds a bit big headed being called brilliant yellow doesn't it I'm brilliant Anyway. <laughs> there we go. I guess I always think it's a bit like our country is called Great Britain. Well, part well, it's complicated, the UK. Um the island that we live on is called Great Britain which is made up of England, Scotland and Wales. And I also think the um, great, it sounds like we think we're great. And I think at some points we did, you know, when we had a big um, empire and things like that. But I think it refers, I, I sort of think it does it refer to the size because it's three countries together. But I'm not sure that it does because we're tiny. So... <laughs> I'm not really, perhaps it is us being big headed. I don't know. But uh, yes, for those of you not in the UK, or oh, it's quite complicated. So the United Kingdom is Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England. Great Britain is just this island, which so therefore doesn't include Ireland, which Northern and Southern Ireland make up Ireland. And Southern Ireland is called Ireland, and, Nor and Northern Ireland is called Northern Ireland. So you don't call Southern Ireland Southern Ireland, you just call it Ireland. Or Era, it occasionally gets called. I don't know if that's the name in Gaelic, I'm not sure. What is that not there? Irish isn't Gaelic, is it? I'm very ignorant when it comes to history, brilliant yellow. So it is a bit confusing, and I live in England, which is the bottom bit of Great Britain. Scotland is basically the top. England is the bottom, and Wales is the left-hand side. And I live near the bottom of the bottom bit-ish. Now we're back onto our blue. 
So yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting country to live in. I always feel very fortunate. We have a lot of nice things here. We have um, we have free health service, which is nice for us. Um, we have good weather in that um, juniper green. We although it does get cold and snow here, it doesn't happen that often. And like in Scotland, when it happens a lot more. Um, it doesn't get too hot. I mean, some days it feels too hot, but it isn't really dangerously hot very often. Or for very, if it is, it's not for very long. Um, cadmium red. We do get a lot of rain, and we do suffer from flooding in certain areas, which is probably the sort of worst thing about the weather, really. And that's getting worse lately too, I guess. I think it's a combination of factors. Although a lot of people blame global warming, brilliant yellow, and rightly so, um, or climate change as we now call it, because it's not just warming, is it? it's cooling in some areas too. Um, I think a lot of the rivers haven't been cleaned out very well. And so the water and drainage isn't always very good. We're sort of a bit behind in getting those things up to date. This is sky blue. And therefore, um, it means that it's easier for things to flood because there's nowhere for the water to go. I think also building lots of houses does that too. Concrete doesn't absorb water. So any sort of fields that are made into housing get that problem. But I think it's... Housing is a problem everywhere, Juniper Green, I'm assuming. As populations grow, they need more houses. And uh, trying to do that is tricky. When nobody wants houses built, cadmium red on the fields or green land that they can see from their house if they live in the countryside, which I sort of live in a semi-urban area. It's quite hard to describe. We live right on the edge of town, brilliantly yellow. So we are 10, 15 minutes, probably 10, from the town centre, which is brilliant. And uh, But we're even closer, sky blue, to a big common on the top of the hill, which and we have the canal, which is very pretty, uh, lots of wildlife as well, and a river. So we have the best of everything, I think. We're very lucky and we're in our location, um, Juniper Green. But, um, you know, whenever proposals come for housing, I mean, it isn't just the look of them. Sometimes it's the congestion, because obviously there has to, there's more traffic on the roads, cadmium red coming from those areas. They've just built quite a few on near the motorway, and getting to the motorway... Um, is quite difficult anyway. Um, brilliant yellow. Maybe doing three colours might have worked better because we're getting all the colours next to each other here. Um, it's really difficult to get to them. There's lots of sets of traffic lights, sky blue, and lots of traffic. So commuting via the motorway is troublesome. Luckily, my husband has another route. He goes to work. The last little green bit in this little tiny bit here, I'm just going to pop it in. Now, I want some shadow because this is looking good, I'm thinking, about with regards to its shape. So I want to put a little bit of shadow in just to emphasise that. And I am going to use grey. I'm going to use a little bit of cool grey deep. And I will show you. So here, particularly look in here, I think there'd be a bit of shadow. Maybe under here too. Hopefully, when I look at this when I'm done, it will just emphasize that shape even more and sort of give separation to each of these bits. And you could do it in between each colour as well, but I don't think it's necessary. I need to think about what's going on here. I think a little bit there might be the 
all this stuff. Yeah, the thing is that bit's slightly overlapping at the end. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now we've got our ribbon. Um, I'm not going to use that grey colour I just used, despite what I said about black. That isn't going to be... Um, mm, I'm looking at the colours and there's quite an even distribution of each, so picking one is quite tricky. Mm, I'm going to go green. Let's go green. just had to make a decision, didn't I? So we'll take our juniper green and we'll do a light um, colour across the whole of the ribbon. add some darker areas. I think we can probably just use this one pencil but we'll see how we go. Okay so at the bottom of each of these little loose bits there are marks that Clara's put in some dots for us. And I'm just going to add to those and here I'm going to put it underneath and then sort of in the middle as if it would be slightly um, crumpled. Gonna put a bit in each of these spots. I think we'd have some darker areas here. Just where the fabric is crumpling up a little bit towards the bow. But under here. Around here. at the bottom of here, maybe up where those lines are, we'll just put a few lines. Now I'm, I think I'm going to just mark that like Lara has, and I'm thinking that bit looks like it's bent in slightly, so I'm going to emphasise that, and the same here, just a bit. There we go, let's have a look. Yeah. Looks nice and bright, doesn't it? That was the idea, bright and cheery. It's quite different to other things in the page because we've got a lot of pinks and purples and things like that going on. So now we've got a big primary colour item, which is a bit different, but I think that's okay. Now I'm thinking about um, white. I'm going to show you to add a bit of shine. Now I'm not sure if this red is bleed proof or not, but we'll find out, won't we? This needs a good shake, I think. I shall right, let's try. Sorry, my tripod decided to make a noise as I shook. I think it was a tripod. Might have been something else. I don't know. I've made them all line up. I think that's probably the best way to do it, but I'm not sure. Okay, there is our lollipop. I I had actually followed a tutorial in a book by Jennifer Zimmerman for a lollipop and that's how I understood about doing that shading around the edge. I just wanted to give her some credit because that wasn't me, um, that was her and that's how I learned how to do the shaped bits, make it shiny in the middle and put the shadow in. So uh, her, she's got a lovely book. In fact, I can link to that book um, in um, in my description. No, I'll link to my flip through of the book and then you can have a look at it and see if it's something you might find useful because it is a good book. There's lots of nice sort of um, sweet treats and Christmassy type things in there which are fun. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, I hope um, you enjoyed that as much as I did. I had great fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, do enjoy the rest of your day and tune in tomorrow for our next video um, and happy colouring. <laughs>